You've got no chance against me. Nanjun is now under our control. Next, we must look to Xiang Yang. My lord, Xiang Yang has fallen to Guan Yu. What? Ugh. Zhuge Liang. He's always one step ahead. Uh. You told us all it was a lie that you were injured. I... I thought I could hold out until we had Xiang Yang. Hey, pull yourself together! Despite much hardship, Zhou Yu managed to seize Nanjuin and obtain Xiang Yang, which was so vital to his strategy. And soon after that, Jing cities of Wuling, Changsha, Lingling, and Guiyang also fell. When Zhou Yu fell injured and his ranks fell into confusion, Liu Bei struck a crippling blow and seized all that Wu had worked so hard to earn. Meanwhile, Cao Cao had recovered from his defeat and again posed a threat. With Cao Cao before them, and Liu Bei behind them. His health deteriorating, Zhou Yu put everything he had left into one last strategy. A strategy that would save the kingdom that his fallen friend and Sun Quan had worked so hard to build. It would be Zhou Yu's final strategy, the marriage of Sun Shangxiang to Liu Bei. I never dreamed that you and I would end up like this. <laughs> well, I always had a feeling that we might. Farewell, my lady. Lian Shir, thank you for everything. I wanted to take you with me. But I know that there is someone here who needs you even more than I. <laughs> take good care of my brother. This marriage will be as a chain upon Liu Bei. It will prevent him from attacking Wu. My sister seems happy, even though she is being used as a pawn. As a leader of men, you have a long way to go to match your father's legacy. And your ambition pales beside that of your brother. I know. <clears throat> and therein lies your strength. Your awareness of your own weakness means you have to put considered plans in place to win. You may be weak, cowardly, and devious, but in the end, that is why you will be victorious. Your words mean the world to me. I will not forget. <sighs> and I have done all I have to.
And so Liu Bei was made a member of the Sun family through marriage. Afterwards, Liu Bei was invited to Yi by Liu Zhang, who was fearful of Cao Cao's strength. Beseeched by the people of Yi, Liu Bei answered their pleas and attacked Liu Zhang, taking his land for himself. Cao Cao of Wei, Sun Quan of Wu, and now Liu Bei of Shu. The land was divided into three. Before long, Cao Cao would occupy Han Zhong in order to check Xu's growing power. Threatened by Cao Cao's move, the fledgling kingdom of Xu turned to Wu for assistance. Sun Quan was determined to strike Cao Cao from behind and instructed Gan Ning and his men to march on Hefei. Unfortunately, Wu no longer had the brilliance of Zhou Yu to guide them. However, in this battle, a new bond of allegiance would be formed. Their attempt to capture Hefei ended in failure. However, as a result of the battle, Wei pulled back its forces and Xu's safety was secured. As a show of gratitude, Liu Bei offered to return the lands of Jing to Wu. However, Guan Yu, who had been in charge of Jing's defense, remained there as per Zhuge Liang's instructions. Wu cursed the duplicity of Xu, but as long as the mighty Guan Yu remained, there was little they could do. After repeated negotiations, Wu and Xu agreed to split Jing in two between them. With the problem of Jing behind them, Xu then moved to attack Wei at Hanjiang. Guan Yu also joined the fray, moving north to attack Wei's stronghold of Fan Castle. However, they were unaware that they were playing right into Cao Cao's hands. Immediately, Cao Cao moved to form an alliance with Sun Quan. For as long as Guan Yu was in Jiangling, neither Wei nor Wu could rest easy. Wei would lure Guan Yu out, and Wu would strike him from behind. Sun Quan agreed to the plot against Guan Yu and sent Lu Xuan along with his best troops to Jing. He did this despite knowing that doing so would stain his honor and brand him a traitor and that this would cause immense grief to the sister he had given to Xu in marriage. Liu Bei is married to our Lord's sister. This must be a difficult battle for him to fight. Lord Lu Fan was a favorite of our late Lord. Now that our Lord is gone, he is more vital to our cause than ever. How many sons does Lord Guan Yu have again? Our Lord tried to avoid war with a strategic marriage, but it was all in vain. 
There are rumors of discontent within the men of Guan Yu's camp. If we play this right, we might be able to weaken the enemy forces. Lord Yu Fan there is quite the academic, and I hear he knows a little about divination too. This rain just never stops. It's enough to break your spirit. I remember Lady Shang Shang's wedding to Liu Bei. Ah, it was beautiful. Although it was rather spoiled when the go-between Liu Fan tried to kill Liu Bei. I still can't believe it. That our lord would betray Liu Bei and side with Cao Cao. We cannot allow Shu to gain any extra momentum. So Wu and Wei must join forces in order to even out the balance of power. Our lord is ruled by his emotions. Surely it must have been a difficult decision for him to make. Our lord would even sacrifice his own principles in order to protect Wu. Precisely, Lu Xuan. That is why we must go and prevent his efforts from being for naught. Our mission is to secure Gongnan and Jiangling. We must move quickly while Guan Yu is occupied. Climb the tower! Send the smoke signal! What do you think of this? They've spotted us. We have to secure the signal tower. What do you think of this? Smoke signals have been released. This will make our job tougher. Further 
resistance is futile. What do you think of this? I will surrender. Please spare my life. Gonglan is ours. Good work, Lu Xuin. Next, the eastern castle of Jiangling. We must take care not to be spotted. Lord Fushure, how do you feel about doing a bit of acting for us? Anything you say, my lord. Speak to Lords Mi Fang and Pan Juen. Open the gates. My lord. Looks like he fooled the guard nicely. In we go. The whole army! What are they doing here? What do you think of that? This battle is as good as over. It is the power of my ancestors. The constantly change during battle. You must be quick to adapt. What do you think? I can see every flaw in your form. Please, have mercy. I surrender. What do you think of this? I have no choice. I will surrender. The castle is ours. We must ride this wave of momentum and claim the Western Castle too. What do you think of that? has already surrendered. Then I have no choice but to join him. Next, we must obstruct Guan Yu's flood attack by seizing the Eastern Bank. messenger is headed for the eastern bank. We mustn't let them know we're here. You should capture him. I can see every they will in pay for what they did to our allies.
miserable traitors. Your punishment will be swift and painful. What do you think about my father? I must keep this land safe. What do you think about it? I can see every flaw in your family. Witness the power of my ancestors. This battle is as good as old. Witness the power of my ancestors. What do you think of this? Eastern Bank has been secured. Now we can drain the water from Fawn Castle. Fine work, Lu Xuin. Now only the God of War himself stands in our path. Guan Yu is nowhere to be found. He must have withdrawn from the battlefield. Wherever he is, he won't get away from us. Our debt to Wei has been paid. Why must we still attack Guan Yu? Jing is an important strategic location. Possessing it will lead to stability for Wu. But if we attack Guan Yu, then surely Liu Bei will seek to retaliate. When that time comes, Lu Xuan, it will be up to you to defend Wu. Lord Lu Meng. Yu is known as the god of war. It is going to take all we have to overcome him. Lord Lu Xuan has grown so much. He reminds me of a young Lord Lu Meng. Lord praise you and Zhang Jin for your academic enthusiasm, my lord. Congratulations. How are we supposed to stop Guan Yu? I mean, this is the god of war, you know? Are you okay, old man? You look a little tired. You're just imagining things. Besides, I'm not that old. Well, if you say so. Hey, you're looking a little pale. Actually, it's kind of hard to tell behind that beard. Hey, show some respect, man. Our man Gan Ning is the one who'll pay for your rudeness. Sorry, Grandpa. Just stop talking, will you? I can't imagine how our lady is feeling. I just wish this rain would stop. Someone should cover up that drum. The rain will ruin it. 
I am a warrior. A little rain won't perturb me. Uh -oh. Reinforcements could be on their way. We can't afford to let up. When this battle's over, will you teach me? I never had much education, but I want to be a strategist one day. The young soldiers look up to you, my lord. They are the future of this army. Lord Ganning's always surrounded by those rowdy pirates. Not that I'm complaining. I heard our Lord praise you. We will slay Guan Yu and claim Jing in the name of Wu. All units, advance! Understood. My lord, I will take care of the defenses of Xiangling. So does that mean we're not going to Xiangling? Enemy reinforcements are coming from the northwest. Our job is to stop them and cut off Guan Yu's escape route. after Cao Ren and Von Castle. We must keep an eye on him. Oh! They're even stronger than I thought! Watch and learn! Push forward! The water's receded, and reinforcements are here from Wei. We just have to wipe out the rest, right? Yes, but our enemy is one you. Exercise extreme caution. The heavens have answered us. We thank you for coming to our aid. This is the way a true warrior fights. That's it, old man. I'll give you a head start, but I won't let you beat me. Attack and learn. Crush the enemy's main camp. Thank you. 
gear to the north of Jung Lake. Uh, 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 Xi Jin has defected uh, and surrendered the western castle to Guan Yu. Wit Shun needs a hand uh, now. Stay safe. Guan Yu appears to have moved to my castle. Shu reinforcements are arriving from the southwest, led by Huang Zhong. That's bad news, old man. They're after Jiang Ling. Yes. We must go to Lu Xuan's aid at once. That's it, old man. I'll give you a head start, but I won't let you beat me. Yours to finish off. He is in my castle. Wang Zhou has entered the Western Castle. I will see this. Though it may be the last thing I do. My lord? Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. I must retreat. This is not the end. That's it, old man. I'll give you a head start, but I won't let you beat me. I might have known. You'd see. 
You're right. I am suffering from an illness. Now that you know that, you'll know. I have absolutely nothing to lose. Your spirit remains strong. You deserve the honor of the absolute best I have to give. Watch move. and learn. Prepare to die. Let's push forward. Uh, out of my way. Uh, uh, My lord, why would you fight when you were clearly so ill? <laughs> Jing province is ours at long last, and Lord Zhou Yu's dream is fulfilled. My lord, your time begins now. Your talents must support the future of Wu. Although it nearly cost Lu Meng his life, Wu successfully managed to slay the god of war, Guan Yu. And by doing so, the majority of Jing fell under Wu's control. Meanwhile, Liu Bei was furious over the death of Guan Yu and could barely contain his rage. Sun Chuan must pay for this treachery. Liu Bei abandoned his marital ties to the Sun family and led a large army to attack Yi Ling. Sun Quan met him in battle without the slightest hint of hesitation or emotion. For upon hearing of Liu Bei's invasion, he had immediately gathered his men and sought a strategy that would bring them victory. This was Sun Quan's way. Now that he had surpassed his father and brother and accepted his destiny as ruler, witnessing Sun Quan's disciplined presence of mind, the young heroes of Wu prepared a brilliant strategy to ensure their success. The Shu army is large in number, but they have marched a long way. We must strike now, while they are still fatigued. Absolutely. So everyone is in favor of Ling Tong's plan? Just a moment. Lord Ling Tong's plan has merit. But it fails to consider the emotions. Who do you think you are? I don't believe a word he's saying. That's he's nonsense. out of his mind. Come on. Having lost Guan Yu, the Shu army is burning for revenge. We should shore up our defenses and wait for the enemy to realize their own fatigue. Hmm. It's not half bad. But can we really hold out against an army that size? You doubt us? Remember, we have used cunning to defeat large armies before. At Cherbi, for example. Right on! Lu Xuan, you will take command in this battle. 